Hey there, Lincoln Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome slide guitar lesson in which we're not gonna use the slide at all, okay? Because I'm gonna teach you three amazing, not amazing, but uncanny slide guitar party tricks, okay? Three slide guitar party tricks. The first of which would be to find a slide replacement, okay? So, because who brings their slide to a party, right? If there's a guitar lying around, you'll want to play some songs, you'll want to play uh, finger style, you want to show them your skills and maybe earn a few new friends. Um, friends. So, how do you find a slide replacement? Simple. Ask them whether they have a remote control lying around. Because remote controls have batteries in them. So, all you need to do is to get a battery and then you can wow them with your uncanny slide skills because you're gonna use the battery as a slide. Now, of course, you can use it um, upright, with a guitar upright, but that would be a little bit uncomfortable, so you can wow them even more by laying the guitar down and playing it as a lap steel. And then you can, you can use the battery as a slide. Now, Okay? You can use what you learn here on Lick and Riff uh, in my slide lessons. With a battery, it works. Um, but if you want to really make them laugh, uh, you can do one of two things, which are the next tricks. You can, uh, there's the silly trick and there's the musical trick. Okay? So let's start with the silly trick. The silly trick would be to tell them to uh, stand in front of you in a half circle. Um, and tell them to close their eyes and tell them to picture a sunny beach and then ask them if they can hear the seagulls. That will make a few people laugh and those few people can be your new friends. Now, granted, with a slide, This might sound a bit better than with a battery, but again, you don't want to bring your slide to a party. So play above the sound hole. Okay, you can do you can do it hit like this. Okay, now I'm pretty sure that you've tried this already. Okay, if you if you've ever held a slide in your hand, you probably tried this. But for those of you who haven't, okay, you just slide down very very slightly, slide down, and that. Okay, that creates this. Now, you slide down and then play it in the next string, okay? So start with the second string, and then the third, and then the first. Now, I like to play one of them twice, because that brings realism to, to the seagull call, okay? Okay? Silly as it might be, most people have never heard someone play this. So if you do, you might win a few friends at that party. Okay, so um, again, the, the sound you get with the slide is slightly better because if you're not muting the strings behind the slide, you can get a few harmonics out of it. I don't know if you can hear it, but it creates a kind of an echo atmosphere around the note. So if if you hold the battery, it's it's really hard to get that sound with a battery because a battery is not supposed to be a slide for slide guitar. Uh, it's not designed to be a slide. So that's your silly trick. Now the musical trick would be to play the Looney Tunes theme. The Looney Tunes theme starts with this. Okay? And then you can play the Looney Tunes theme, which I've taught you years ago. Okay? Yeah, I don't, I don't remember exactly how it goes. And the guitar is slightly out of tune, apparently. Okay? Uh, right? Uh, okay? So I'm gonna show you a, a simple variation of this. Let's. Um, okay, so I've tuned it. Yeah. 
Right? So I'm going to show you the, the short version of this, which you can use at a party. Um, so the, the slide trick would be to just slide up from the nut, basically, or from the first fret, up to say 14 or 15 and then you throw away the the battery okay you don't want to throw away your slide especially if it's ceramic um because they're easily breakable um that's why you don't bring a slide to the party haha uh -huh. um so you throw away the battery so slide up on strings two and three um three and four sorry strings three and four okay g and d okay this is the actual sound so Okay. You start slowly and then speed it up. Okay. Of course, with a slide, it'll be much, much cleaner, but you don't want to throw away your slide. Okay. You can, of course, play it with your three remaining fingers, okay? uh, but okay, if you throw away the, the battery, it's funnier and you're at a party. So... Okay. So um, you can go watch the Looney Tunes lesson, or okay, you can play two zero two zero two zero two on the first string, and then three on the second. And if you want to be exact, you'll want to put a one there as well. Okay. Um, even though I believe the Chad Atkins version is different. Okay, he plays it with a pull off. Okay, so watch my lesson. If you want a basic version, because party goers don't really care about musical exactitude, so okay, so just play zero two zero two zero two one two on the first string with D, and then three on the second string, and then you play. Okay, you can play like this or just okay, which is the E string uh, four times with an E chord, okay? Or with the full reverse blues turnaround, which you'll see in the Looney Tunes lesson, okay? The basic version would be this, okay? And then you have, okay, you have A with the open E string and then, okay? Which is three, two on the second string, Open E string, three on the B string, open E string again, four on the B string, okay? E string, and two on the B string. Okay, I may not be uh, precise here, but this is the, the gist of it. Okay, or, okay, if you wanna be more exact. Um, so go watch that lesson. So those are your slide guitar party tricks. Get a battery, okay? Doesn't have to be from a remote control. Um, play the, the, the seagull calls, okay? Guided meditation, okay? Let them close their eyes and guide them, okay? Build the story up, picture a seafront, a bitch front, whatever you want, and then play the seagull sound or Mm -hmm. I play, look at it, I have the slide here, I don't have to imitate it. Okay, and then you have... Okay, and you can play Looney Tunes for them. So, there you go. Lick and riff. Not just education, but also fun at parties. Okay, I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Enjoy.